San Antonio 911, do you need police, fire, or EMS? I'm not real sure, ma'am. Um, I just watched the biggest crit. It, it, it was a critter, but it it smelled real bad. I'm a homeless female. I live right in the middle of the woods, around 151, which is north of Claybron. 1604 was the lightest. Uh -huh. This big thing was 75 feet away from me, smells awful, devoured a whole deer carcass, and then took off and, like, screamed, screeched, and took off across the street. And I know you guys are going to think I'm crazy, but I'm dead serious. There was something very big, bigger, a lot bigger than me, <laughs> out here. So I just thought somebody should know. I really okay. don't know what you can do about it. Um, how long ago did this happen? This is, uh, I won't, like, immediately, like, I just, yeah. I don't know, it's animal control, I mean, it's Okay, huge. again, now tell me, where was it, this is at 151 and Calibra? Okay, yeah, like, you know, the light at 151, just up from Calibra on 16, like, on 1604, where 1604 split. And you can get off on the access road to Calabria, or you can take 151. Right. That light right there is, yes, right in there. It is a very large, hairy animal of some kind. <laughs> now, was it standing on two or four? Or? Well, I told you it was standing on two legs. You're going to think I'm crazy, but I'm serious. It ran off at breaking limbs and trees. And it kind of screech, howl, and <laughs> a very creepy, scary thing. Because, like I said, I, I live in a tent. Um, we're in the woods. So, you I never... You live in a tent? Yes, ma'am. I'm a homeless female. I live in a tent in the woods. And I just saw this freaky, scary, very large creature devour a deer and run off across the road. So... Uh, okay. I don't know. Is there any way that we can have an officer contact you? Uh, yeah, I guess it's this number. Um, but I'd really prefer, like, animal control or somebody bigger than me. But I appreciate it. I just thought somebody should know that there's a very large animal in the vicinity. Now, the deer was walking around and... No, the deer was dead. <laughs> and it got devoured. It was a carcass. Okay, and do you see signs of, of, of a dead deer, blood, whatever? Um, actually, ma'am, uh, I'm not, I'm not going to go check it out right at the moment. Is okay. that okay? That's fine. <laughs> but... like, I'm waiting for daylight. I got, I don't own anything but a machete and a hatchet, so I'm kind of creeped out. I just thought, like I said, I thought somebody should know there's a very large something big enough to eat a deer and as a Are predator. Are you with someone there? Uh, yes, ma'am. Did they see it too? Yes, ma'am. How, how about if I have an officer contact you guys out there? Um, I'm not going to leave my camp right at the moment. I mean, I if they want to come look at the light, she wants an officer to meet us. Oh, yeah. Right, so. <laughs> we're not leaving where we're at, is what we're trying to say. Oh, I'm a little bit us. scared, and it's raining, and um, I just want somebody to maybe check it out in the okay. morning when it's not dark. Well, that almost control, dude. What I, I can, can do right now is I could have an officer patrol that area. Which direction did it, it run? Was, it was it ran there. across um, the, oh, the light. The light. At 151, like towards the water tower, on two feet, like yeah. my husband said, something very weird. I just wanted to make a documentation and have animal control. Had you ever seen or heard anything like this before? No, ma'am. No, I've lived no, in the woods for a while. I've lived in the woods for six years. I'm gonna tell you right now, I've lived in the woods for six years. I swear to God, I've never seen nothing like this. So, and it, it had a very odd smell. I'm 6'3". I'm 6'3". I'm bigger than me. So, uh, yeah. He, it's bigger than 6'3". Yeah. It's very 
large. I I, mm -hmm. I carried the carcass off. Yeah. What so, did he, What did he say? He carried the carcass off. I mean, oh, he carried like, it with okay. nothing. Like just like I want to believe that it was a large cat or bear, but oh, I'm. Shit. Oh, <laughs> I'm thinking, Other I'm not going to tell you I what I think it is. Cause what you're... does he think it is? What do that... you think it is? Well, I'll tell you what, I don't know. I would be a liar if I said I thought I knew what it was, but I don't know. But I know it picked up that deer and walked with two um, feet. Yeah. It's a very large something that smells bad and is bigger than we are. So. Okay, so you saw it walk in which direction? Oh, right. Running or walk in which direction? Uh, towards the light at 151 and 1604. It went towards the water tower. Went towards the water tower area. Hmm. And it screeched, howled, um, yelled. Yeah. <laughs> when yeah. it, it went, yeah, when it, it, it worked up. I mean, my, my husband's a very large, nothing's ever scared him. Ever. <laughs> and, uh, I mean, saw it too. we both saw it, so. That's good. It's been some no, no, type of, no type of clothing or? No, no, it was for, okay. Or, as, as far as I can tell, I mean, it's a pretty light night out because um, of the overcast. Mm -hmm. And uh, we doused our it. fire. And I have a, like, a a blanket thing hung up as it a drama. And it I it saw it over the top of that and when it ran it cracked branches. Trees. Yes. Large. Like I like the size of a grizzly bear. Imagine that. But on steroids with two mm -hmm. feet. So you yeah. have two feet, mama. I, I know. I just know what Okay, and did you, uh, and what is your name? Jennifer. Jennifer. Yeah, it's raining now and we can't hear nothing outside. So it's kind of scary. Yeah. Okay, all right. Well, we'll have an Thank officer patrol that area and see what we can find. Uh, I, mean, say, I know, I mean, you guys might be able to find something. Animal control might be able to find tracks or something in the morning. It's hard to find tracks on the area. Not right She now. said she's gonna send a patrol around the area. So right here. Right. and yes, yeah, she can call. Okay, so send you the light and patrol. So get the light. Get to the light. And sound the siren. And sound your siren. He'll come out of the woods. <coughs> and talk to you. I'm scared to death, Pete. And okay. you guys you guys have your tent set up at one fifty one in Calabra? Um, I mean, not exactly, but yeah, I mean, it's go in the light. area. Just go to the light and sound, sound the light. siren, and we would hear you where we're at. And I'll come, I'll come to you. At 151 and 1604, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you. You're welcome.